your live Super Doppler 4 HD weather forecast. And we're going to talk about temperatures heading this way that we haven't felt since last February. So big change on the way. We have to first get the rest of the rain out of here, and most areas have. In the higher elevations, we could see a few more showers uh, rung out there and up around Boone in Watauga County. If you're headed that way early tomorrow morning, there would be a possibility of even some icing on the roads there because of the leftover moisture and temperatures there dropping off more. Here we are in Lawrence looking very Christmassy and drying out after picking up about a quarter of an inch of rain later late this afternoon, but altogether close to an inch over the last 36 hours and temperatures. Let's check those out from 44 in Rutherfordton to 45 in Spartanburg now and 45 in Lawrence. Our winds are light across the area, so we look for a couple of things. We know we have the low level moisture after all of the rain. We have light winds. We have high humidity levels with that moisture, and we're also going to see the temperatures drop off enough that very likely some dense fog forming across the area and not as uh, waiting until the overnight, which is usually the case. In many areas, that fog could form earlier and in fact be around certainly for your drive in tomorrow morning. So it will be dry, but you may need extra time with the fog. All right, there goes a lot of the energy from the system that moved through here or drove up the moisture anyway. And what we're looking at next will be what's going to bring in our big change in temperatures. So so, you know, usually we do the future plus to show you sky conditions and when the rain's going to move in. But we're talking temperatures here. And let me take you to Thursday morning, certainly chilly with 30s and 40s. But what's going to happen through the day on Thursday, not that much of a warm up. 50s, low 50s, the warmest we'll find. And then into Thursday night, the winds are going to start picking up over the mountains and our temperatures are going to start falling. And by Friday morning, we will find widespread, I think we'll find more teens across western North Carolina, but we're going to be in the 20s in the upstate. With the winds across the mountains, wind chills in the single digits certainly possible. So we've gotten off, uh, you know, with all the record highs we had in November, you may not have busted out the scarts. Uh, uh, scarfs and gloves yet, but you will be by Friday morning. Here we are 59 for tomorrow. That will be our most mild day of the week and we'll have a decent amount of sunshine. Still some clouds around, but our day tomorrow quite comfortable and our evening as well. It's going to be Thursday night. We really start feeling that change mid 50s. But again, we're on the lookout for patchy dense fog could become more widespread. We haven't had a visibility advisory in a while, so we'll be keeping an eye on that but no, you may need extra time tomorrow just because of the reduced visibility. Mid 50s for tomorrow, and then we'll talk about these temperatures. Again, about average tomorrow, and Thursday starts out nice. We could ring out one or two drops of rain. It's not going to be much measurable as that front goes through because we'll be pretty dry by then. And then a big change by Friday, and in fact, that's going to last through the weekend with temperatures well below average, especially bundling up at night in the mornings. And then as we get into next week, temperatures pretty much back to normal.